This right here gonna be a cakewalk. So there's been a lot of things happening in the Tekken community in the past 24 hours, and it's a lot to actually break down in a video, but I'm going to do my best. First off, let's start off with talking about what you're seeing in the background. Brahala finally revealed their trailer for Devil Jin, Nina, and Yoshimitsu. You can see the gameplay in the background. Some of you guys play Brahala, some don't. Regardless, I think this is just good marketing for Tekken. We talked about how big the player base is for Brahala, and Bandai Namco trying to pull them in with Tekken skins is a really good decision. Another thing that you guys may also be aware of is Megan Fox doing the voice acting for Natara in Mortal Kombat. I'm also really happy about this, but I just think back to when Ronda Rousey voiced Sonya Blade and how that didn't really turn out the best. This one looks way better. The voice acting looks so much better. If they never said it was Megan Fox, I don't think we would have been able to notice. And that's how you can tell when a voice actor does a good job. The next thing we're going to talk about is a major bombshell that I was not prepared for. All of you are aware that Romanova is, or I guess I should say was, the community manager for Bandai Namco. I don't know the exact day when they started, but it was sometime around the end of Tekken 7, so probably one, two years. So this person is leaving the company before Tekken 8 starts, and we really don't give a reason as to why, and I'm not going to speculate on why. It's just not what I'm going to do. But I do think it's just interesting that this person left before they really even made a mark just from a average player perspective. They will continue to do commentary and things of that sort, but it also seems like they're switching to Dragon Ball Z or maybe Street Fighter 6. So who knows exactly what happens? Like I said, I won't speculate on it at all. Next, we have this super viral tweet from Yellow Motion. This tweet kicked up a lot of drama, a lot of drama. It says, me right now learning some absolutely massive Tekken 8 news that's not officially announced. I won't talk about it simply because I do not want to leak it because this, my friends, is gonna be huge. Of course, they don't wanna leak it because, you know, I got a lot of backlash for leaks. We'll talk about that as well. Spaghetti Rip made a video, dropped a diss track on me. A lot of things took place as Reddit predicted Predicted, I will be making a video about this, but it will not be 30 minutes. Yellow Motion quote tweets themselves. This is when it gets really crazy. They say 1997 to 2024. A lot of people, they immediately made the connection to Tekken 3 because it was released in 1997. Yellow Motion also gave more information that helped narrow down the guess. They said it's not story related. It's not related to the roster, right? We already know the roster that leaked, but if you wipe out all of those things and it's related to Tekken 3, what's left? The only thing that's left realistically is game modes. And if you combine this tweet with what Harada was talking about, a lot of people are jumping to the conclusion that this is basically confirmation for those two game modes. Now, I won't jump to that conclusion and say that that's what it is, but it's probably game modes. I mean, we know it's going to be there. Game modes is definitely going to be a big part of the experience. Yellow Motion, they also said they do not know when the reveal for this information will be made. It could be Tokyo Game Show or it could be later. But when you talk about the community's reaction to this, a tweet from High Buff Gigas, what's the point of telling others that you know something but you're not going to tell them what it is? A lot of people had this same sentiment but it was more angry. People blocked Yellow Motion. People muted their account. Yellow Motion doubled down in another tweet that says, more exciting official Tekken 8 news is coming. This tweet also combined with another leak that happened that I tweeted out. So, so there's, see this is why you guys gotta follow me on Twitter. Some things I tweeted that I have not yet made videos about and you will see that stuff eventually. What Yellow Motion was talking about combined with what I was talking about, it basically triggered this second wave of all the leaks is is bad and angry and we hate it now i did a poll right instead of speaking for others and say we don't like this we don't like that i like to do polls and see what we actually think and the majority won and said they do like leaks now that doesn't mean just spoil the whole entire game but I do think a lot of people like leaks and I do think it's just a few people trying to speak as if they represent everyone. Spaghetti Red put out this uh, response video and they basically called me out, not by name, also Yellow Motion, not by name, and this basically was a onslaught of negativity. Some people who was sharing leaks apologized. I'm not apologizing anymore, but I did make a response to this. That response is on my Twitter and it's a video that's unlisted. So if you wanna watch that video, you gotta to go to my Twitter to watch it. 